look what you're doing, Dr. Amina here, and I help you break up the sugar and make up the health, okay? Today's quick topic is essentially how do you figure out how much sugar is in packaged food based on the label, okay? Labels can be pretty confusing, and a lot of times you don't even understand some of the words in them, right? So let's just focus on the sugar, right? The amount of sugar is usually found on the the carb section. So usually they will have fats, cholesterol, sodium, etc. And then they'll have total carbs and they'll have an amount and sometimes they have fiber, but then under that they would usually have sugars, right? Now, depending on what you're looking at, you may see total sugars, right? And then a subheading under that is how much added sugar, right? So for example, and I recently spoke about Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has total sugar content of 39 grams, right? And then under that it says includes 39 grams added sugars. So all the sugar in Coca-Cola is added sugar, right? Now some foods contain some amount of natural sugar, right? Like some of the ingredients will contain natural sugar. For example, milk has natural sugars in it. So when you look at the label um, on a milk carton, it would often say, you know, total sugars, maybe 12 grams, and it'll say including, you know, like 12 grams of, um, sorry, including zero grams of added sugar because there's no added sugar to the milk, right? Unless it's something like chocolate milk, right? So this one has total sugars, 39 grams, and all of that, the sugar in the Coca-Cola is actually added sugar, right? I have another example here. This is Kit Kat, right? This one says, the label says, on the total carbs, it says total sugars, 22 grams, and then the subheading is including 19 grams of added sugar. So it means in this whole carton, three of the 22 grams is sugar naturally occurring in some of the ingredients, whether it be the cocoa or, you know, whatever in this long list of ingredients, right? So three of the 22 grams is natural sugar and then 19 of the 22 grams is added sugar so if you want to round it off to 20 grams it means that there in this set of Kit Kat there are five teaspoons of added sugar because every four grams is equal to one teaspoon and then you divide four into 20 because we were rounding it to 20 and you will get five teaspoons of added sugar in this little packet of Kit Kat, right? And maybe I might be able to show you the label. Yeah, you can see here, right? Total sugars, 22 grams, including 19 grams added sugar, okay? So this would not be something good for somebody who's trying to keep off sugar. Basically this whole pack, right, of Kit Kat gives you almost your total recommended daily allowance of sugar, which is 24 grams, okay? So that's this one. Now this is a packet of cookies, um, Captain's Wafers. And this one has, again, it says total sugars, five grams, right? So this is like one and a quarter teaspoons because again, every four grams is one teaspoon. And I like to think of it in teaspoons because that really gives you a good picture of how much sugar you're ingesting, right? And so of the five grams of sugar in these cookies or biscuits, it includes three grams of added sugar. So two of the five grams here is naturally occurring sugars. We are especially concerned about added sugar. We don't want any sugar added to our food, right? Generally speaking, or, you know, sweetness for that matter, right? We don't want to have added glucose to whatever we add. Um, eat as much as possible and if that is the case then we want it to be within 24 grams per 24 hour period right or 60 spoons so the preference is because all these packaged things have so much added sugar the preference is for you to have things that have minimal to no added sugar and if anything you control the amount of sugar you put in things like you know if you make stuff for yourself at home or if you you know, have your own tea or whatever you control. You can put one, say, put one teaspoon of, of sugar or one teaspoon of honey or whatever, but you have the control rather than buying all these packaged foods and having no control, right? Another example, packet of salad dressing, right? This one, some of them don't actually specify how much of the sugar is added and how much of it is an versus out of the total, right? So like this packet of salad dressing, for example, small packet, and in the list of ingredients, it says sugars, six grams, right? And you wouldn't think necessarily it's that sweet, thousand island salad dressing, but it has six whole grams of added, oh, well, of sugar, right? 
which would be a teaspoon and a half. So in this case, it's going to be hard to tell. It's impossible really to tell, you know, how much of this is naturally occurring sugar. Now, if you want to have an idea, if they don't break it down, right, you can look at the list of ingredients. And this has water, corn syrup, solids, which is another name for sugar. So you know that this actually has added sugar. And it has some other things um, here. So the second ingredient is corn syrup solids, which is another fancy name for sugar. So these six grams are probably all added sugar, right? Um, now, in some things that are sweet, well, maybe I'll just use this example just to show you that the things sometimes that you least expect to, or you don't count include things like cough drops, right? So these birth bees, birds, bees, cough drops, they taste sweet. We know they have sugar. It doesn't say on, there's no nutrition label on it, although I feel like they should put a nutrition label on it, right? But anyway, when you look at inactive ingredients, it includes honey, sucrose, maltodextrin, um, rice extract, which could be sugar for all we know, and then it has natural flavors. So basically, the first ingredient is honey and then sucrose. So we have two different types of sugar in here, right? So sometimes, you know, I think when it's cold season and you're having a lot of these cough drops, this could be a significant source of sugar. So you have to be so careful. And of course, they always try to be so fancy, 100% natural, no artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners or preservatives, but something like this could still be loaded with, with sugar, right? So on your label, basically, you look and we're focusing especially on added sugar, right? So yes, you know, you look at the total, 22 grams of total sugar, but most of that is added sugar, 19 grams. So this is something you're going to want to avoid because you don't want people giving you all this extra sugar, right? Now, you might have had like a plain, you know, dark chocolate bar also, right? And it might have said maybe three grams of sugar, including maybe it might say, I don't know, one or two grams of added sugar, right? So that's very low content. I mean, it's on the, you know, a teaspoon anyway on the four grams. But this is essentially how you are going to look for look at your labels after looking at the actual content right the total sugar oops this is not showing versus added sugar after you look there then you can go ahead and start looking at the ingredients right and see the labels and of course the first ingredient on this is sugar and then you know wheat flour cocoa butter all these other things right so sometimes you might not like just to get used to looking at your labels First, look total sugars, then added sugars, right? And then you can go and look at the list of ingredients to get an idea of what's in there because you want to know too are they artificial flavors, are they all kinds of chemicals whose names you don't know, etc. etc. Right? But this is essentially what you're looking for this label, and you do not want to have anything that has added sugar. Ideally, what if something happens to have sugar, you want it to be the naturally occurring sugar. You don't want to see something where the majority of the sugar is added. Okay, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time.